I think all the way through my experience of Sam as a collector was of somebody with an incredible eye. An eye that not only identified quality, but also an eye for the unknown or the little known. He collected in depth in all of the fields that he was most interested in, and he only bought objects of museum quality, which is almost unique amongst collectors that I've handled and dealt with over the last 40 years. Sam was a great pioneer in so many ways. He began his career working with his father. He quickly, with his brother, identified that vinyls were the future of the music industry. So he started a business where you could buy records from him directly and they'd be posted to you at home. Sam's family came from Lithuania. His father decided to send Sam to America. From a very early age, Sam has a huge interest in cultural works of art and becomes one of the greatest collectors of his generation, without question. He began with a rather unusual field, which was the Pontevin painters, who had painted around Gauguin at the end of the 19th century. Pontevin appealed to artists really for its picturesque qualities in the first instance, a land which had been untouched by modernization and by industrialization. And fairly rapidly, an artist colony was established there and start their journey onto this the discovery of a new and very important development in modern art, which was non-naturalism. They adopt this style, which is bold outline, very flat color infill, and a complete negation of three-dimensionality. In terms of the core group of Pontevin artists, they weren't well known, and Sam Rosefowitz was one of the very first to really begin seeking out their work and recognizing it as very important to the development of modern art. He would sometimes even fly out in a small propeller plane to Brittany in search of these artworks. He knocked on the doors of the artists and the artists' families, asking whether they had works that he could acquire, and then became the great expert on Pontevin painters. He also was an incredibly generous person in terms of making his works available to the wider public through the supporting of exhibitions and so on. It really woke people up to the significance of this particular artist group. I think Sam had a forensic interest in works of art, not just in the Pont of N, which we saw early in his career, but he then took that learning and started to look at Old Master Prince. In 1968, he met a man called Ira Gale in an aeroplane, and Ira Gale had with him a portfolio of prints, including Rembrandt's. Within a moment, he'd moved from the Pont of N and Gauguin to Rembrandt and then began his incredible adventure collecting the greatest impressions of the early states of, of Rembrandt's work. His old master prints are all about the quality of the impression and there can be really fine differentials between a great impression and what he would call an ordinary impression. I think the collection tells us that we are in the presence of somebody with an incredible intellect, a passion for art, and a willingness to be open-minded, because he really did range his collection from antiquity to the beginning of the 20th century. It's that breadth which tells you so much about somebody who has an appetite for the aesthetically compelling and the beautiful. Sam's collection is remarkable for the way it reveals the depth of his scholarship. He was a man with a real passion to collect great things, but also an incredibly inquisitive mind. He was the ultimate detective, and he was also the ultimate detective who had connoisseurship. <laughs>